So welcome to our Japan travel video. So far you'll have seen the footage from our journey to get to Tokyo Narita Airport. It was a fairly uneventful journey. Uh, there were a few bad bits of turbulence on the plane and we were at a windowless seat that vibrated quite a bit due to its location close to the engine. But other than that, it was a good flight. The food was very good. And um, we also had a nice selection of in-flight entertainment to choose from. The welcome we got when we got to Japan was absolutely fantastic, especially as we'd booked special assistance uh, to get us through the airport a bit more easily. As you'd expect from Japan, it was super friendly, super helpful. The same can't be said for London, sadly, as they were pretty much hopeless and left us to fend for ourselves for the most part. Throughout the video, I'm going to be narrating bits and pieces here and there. It's going to be jumping to some footage filmed at home to explain things, but I'll try and keep the focus on Japan as much as possible. In some places we were just too busy travelling to film much, so some episodes are going to be a bit shorter than others, but I'll always make sure I explain what's happening if I didn't get a chance to film a section on location. With that said, uh, enjoy the rest of the videos, there's going to be a few in this series, and if you've got any feedback or anything you want to say, just let me know in the comments below. Oh, I should probably turn the light on then. Yeah. Oh, this hotel's awesome. Does it have like free Wi Fi? Yeah. yeah. Look how tall I am in here. Under the shower. <laughs> no, if I want to get under the shower, it's like the same height pretty much. These are really cool magnetic strips. Okay, day two of Japan. We are in Tokyo in our hotel, the Villa Fontaine in Shiodome. We got here yesterday, we were quite tired from the trip, obviously we've been travelling for 12 hours. We were awake for around 28 before we went to bed, which meant we slept in today and completely missed the breakfast. But we are travelling to Harajuku with our JR Japan Rail Pass, this thing here. Um, that's only available to tourists, but it means we can travel on any of the JR lines completely limited for the time we're here. So we'll use that, go to Harajuku, see what's about, and then possibly go to Shibuya afterwards. Um, it's currently raining outside. Um, if I show you what this is like. That is whatever I prop the camera up on. My meter. That's just fallen down.
Tokyo, we are going to be leaving the, the Villa, Villa Fontaine at Shiodome. It'll be sad to see this place go, actually. Um, it's been good. We've enjoyed our stay here. The room's been fantastic. Uh, the staff have been really nice and friendly. And it's just a really nice location to be in. So, yeah, it's going to be sad to see this one go. But we are looking forward to going to Matsumoto, uh, seeing the oldest castle in Japan, which should be really cool. And we've got all our stuff packed up, ready to go. I don't know if you can see that behind us. All that, we're going to be taking that to um, Shinjuku Station. That's the one. We're going to go to Shinjuku Station, the busiest train station in the world, apparently. Uh, we're going to be taking a train to Matsumoto, which takes about two and a half hours. So we're going to be on there for a little while, but it should be a good, entertaining trip. I'll let you know how it goes.